Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Just wanted to uh, to do a, uh, a quick lesson regarding you know staying in the spirit man you know i was uh i, I did a, i did a lesson already on the way up here but it didn't record <clears throat> so i had i gotta do it again uh you know so through the spirit lord willing this be edifying um i'm gonna start at uh second peter okay and um i'm gonna go ahead and go at verse let me see um Verse nine, Second Peter chapter three, verse nine. It says, "Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not is not slack concerning his promise." Let's get that word slack, real quick. All right, let's get that word slack real quick. It's not slack. Okay, uh, it says Bradino, if I'm not mistaken, or Bra Braduno, and it says to delay, to be slow. To render slowly, to tarry long, okay. He's not. He's not slack, man. He's not. He's not slow concerning his promise. He's gonna bring it to pass. Let's see what they got here. Isaiah forty-six and thirteen. All right. Okay. Here we go. Isaiah forty-six and thirteen. I bring near my righteousness; it shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. Okay. Like it says in the book of uh, Habakkuk, I believe. Uh, it says, uh, though it tarry, wait for it. It shall not tarry. Okay. Cause even though it may seem like it's taking a little while, Hey, it's just a little while, man. Okay. You know, you can wait a little bit, man. You can wait a little while. Okay. Cause he's coming soon, man. It says, and I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. Another scripture proven that the most high is only dealing with the nation of Israel. All right. But I just want to go into that word through the spirit. Um, he's not going to delay his salvation, man. All right. He's not unrighteous to forget our labor of love. He knows that we put out, putting the work in out here, man. Okay. <clears throat> it says, as some count slackness, as some count, as some men count slackness, so like it. but is long suffering to us work, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Okay. Matter of fact, let's get that scripture real quick with the sheep. See, I want to act up now. Maybe that's how you spell it. There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is uh, Matthew chapter 18, verse 12. It says, How think ye, if a man have an hundred sheep and one of them be gone astray, doeth he not leave? The ninety and nine and goeth into the mountains and seeketh that which is gone astray. All right, because back in the day, agriculture, specifically uh, uh, being a shepherd, was a, a huge part of our culture. Now, you know, we go to Esau for the for the for the want of all things because we're in this wicked ass captivity right now. OK, but back in the day when we actually had our own land, like how it's supposed to be and like how we're going to again. OK soon in the kingdom of heaven it says if a man have a hundred sheep and one of them have gone astray and we who are the sheep of the, of, of the lord of yahweh Yashai, the nation of israel particularly the elect because the scriptures say my sheep hear my voice okay the house of david hears the voice of yahweh Yashai, man okay and we're acting upon that voice that we hear now it says if one of them go astray Doeth he not leave the ninety and nine and goeth into the mountains and and seeketh that which is gone astray? And if so be that he shall uh, that he find it, verily I say unto you, he shall uh, he re, uh, rejoiceth more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Cause the mate the ain't the most high man, he really wants us to come to repentance. He like he really wants the nation of Israel. OK, to be saved. All right. Like Paul said, my heart's uh, wish, you know, roughly paraphrasing it is for Israel to be saved. But we know that the two thirds, they just ain't going to get it, man. They're just not going to get it. OK. And so, matter of fact, I'm going to get that in Romans blindness in part. Romans chapter 11, man. 
Okay, verse 25. This 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 is this is some a thing that most people don't get. Ask a Christian what what the hell this means right here. What does this mean? Okay? And they won't be able to tell you. Okay, it says Romans 11 and 25. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of of the Gentiles become in. So until we are in the kingdom of heaven, blindness in part is going to happen to our, our, our people, man. Two thirds of our people. So your family member is not going to get it, man. They're not going to come into the camps. They're not going to call upon the name. Okay. Because most high blinded them, man. Okay. That's in first Corinthians or uh first or second Corinthians. I'm going to try first Corinthians. Okay, second Corinthians, second Corinthians, second Corinthians four. And I think this is uh okay, it's at seven. Let me see. Blindness and I mean uh I already got that one. Here we go, right here. All right, here, here we go. It says second Corinthians four and three. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the power of this world hath blinded the minds of them which uh, believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord, and yourselves, uh, and ourselves, your servants, for Yahweh Shai's sake. Now, we preach the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. That gospel is not a, a good news because that's what the gospel means. It's not good news for everybody, man. Okay? The, the When Yahweh Shah returns, everybody ain't going to be happy. Okay? So it's good news to who? The nation of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? The Israel of Israel. The Israel of God, as it says. Let me, let's get that real quick. Okay? Oh, gosh. All right. Yeah, I'm a, <laughs> probably should. Uh, I think it's in Hebrews. Let me see. If it's not, I'll just post it in the comment board. I mean, uh, yeah. But, hey, this is it right here, though. This is the new covenant. We'll go ahead and get this. All right. It says, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith Yahweh. All right. Now, this is after this is after the Most High delivers us from this place. All right. And, and, and America is destroyed. It says, this is the covenant that I will make uh, with the house of Israel. It says, I will uh, I will put my laws into their mind, okay, and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people. Okay, so that's what the Most High is going to do for his people, man. He's going to he's going to put his laws, statutes and commandments in us. And we're going to be perfect, man. What we hope for. Okay. Matter of fact, let's get that. But the election hath obtained it. I'm gonna go to the whole scripture. That's it's Romans 11, the same same chapter. All right, it says, uh, "What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded." So, no, all Israel is not going to get it on this side, man. That's why the two thirds are there, because the, it's already been prophesied. They're not going to get it. They're not going to get it, man. You see that? And he quoted um, uh, 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 Isaiah 6 and 9 right here and many other scriptures, man. OK. In verse eight, uh, it says, as it, as it is written, the most I have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear. Until this day, that means not everybody's going to get it, man. So blessed are those who do have this understanding, man. Okay? And that should cause us to be more appreciative towards this truth. Okay? And like I said, hey, the spirit was just on me because I was driving, you know, on the way up here, you know, listening to, to the Apostle Raka, you know. And I was just like, man, you know what, man? Let me just put a video on wax, man, because, hey, I'm excited, man. You know, we're about to go, go to camp here in a minute, you know. And uh, we should just be, we should just be, we should be, be happy, man. Okay. 
that, that we have this opportunity. Okay? So I just want to put that up through the spirit, man. I brought to Zah. You brothers edified, man. You know, uh, with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rechak Wadash, the bonds to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect.